Hello, y'all. Welcome to Miss Mother Tracker. This is your favorite mother tracker. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I'm sitting here in my least favorite terminal in Pittston, Pennsylvania. Pitts. It's the Pitts in Pennsylvania. Okay. Last night, oh, what a nightmare. We were sitting there all night. Uh, we, we couldn't get a good parking place, so I had people knocking on my deal all night long. And I parked where the yard dog told me to park. But, I mean, there it, it was a nightmare. We got there at 9. The cafeteria was already closed. Not that, you know, we all know how their food is there. It's not like Salt Lake City or uh, Springfield. So, anyway... Um, but now I'm I'm in driver's lineup. I'm heading out there fueling me. And uh, I come in and they took my trailer off me. They didn't attach it. They said, Do you want to, are you keeping your trailer? I said, yeah. And I stayed attached to my trailer. And then we get a message, you need to unattach from your trailer because it's being assigned to someone else. Oh, no. We're not doing that. Okay, that dog don't hunt. I'm sorry. So, anyway, I finally got the trailer reattached to me. Um, but one thing I want to talk to y'all about is we are coming into winter. And y'all know about everything going on in New York and up by all the Great Lakes and stuff like that. All these record snowfalls. I mean, there's already been a couple deaths. And this is from people that live there. And what really shocked me is, and even the people on the news were like, I'm so shocked to see all these truckers stuck on the side of the road. Two weeks notice y'all had. Wake up. Come on. You got to take this stuff seriously. And another thing, everybody... Oh, my hair is so... It's a hot mess. Y'all have to excuse me. Another thing we have to really think about, guys, is have emergency 911 on you. The fuel in case you gel up. When it starts getting cold, real cold, you need to put the anti-gel in your tanks. I mean, we need to be prepared. We don't know if there's going to be a big pile up. Last year, I was stuck for three days in a 75 car pile up. Luckily, I wasn't part of the pile up. I had just gotten off and then the uh, gas station where we were lost power. So, make sure you have a couple, maybe three gallons of water on you. Put them under your bunk. Make sure you have at least three days to a week's worth of food on your truck for you and your co-driver student. Uh, make sure you have plenty of warm clothes to layer in. Make sure you bring your boots. Everything. Y'all need to be prepared because you never know what is going to happen. Always keep your phone charged. Always keep it plugged into the charger. Even as I'm recording, I'm plugged into the charger because you never know what's going to happen. Maybe your battery goes dead. Anything can happen in one of these deals. And I carry a bucket on me. Just, you never know when you're going to have to go to the potty. And if you're stuck on the side of the road for three days, even you boys have got to more than go and stand into your tinkle. I mean, we have to set. We need an emergency potty for everything. So, I mean, just really prepare yourselves for the winter you know I mean and just make sure your phone stays charged make sure you know and this is the time of year you get don't let yourself drop below half a tank just don't because you never know what's going to happen you never know if you're going to break down you never know if you're going to hit that horrible accident and all that. We just don't know what's going to happen or what's going to go on. You know what's sad? The reefer took twice as much as the truck did. Oh, my land, The truck only took seven gallons. Well, that reefer's a greedy whore. Huh? That reefer's a greedy whore. It took almost 14. Oh, my God. You have a blessed one, sweetheart. You too. Anyway, guys, play it careful. Be safe. 
and don't worry, I'm just pulling forward. I'm not driving. I'm just pulling out of the lineup to let someone else in. But, um, like I said, be prepared. Remember, at least three days or a week's worth of food, three gallons of water, up to six gallons. But I know, you know, I know our stuff is limited. Um, just make sure you don't let your tanks drop below half a tank of fuel because we just don't know what's going to hit us. We really, really don't. Oh, bright lights, y'all. Oh. So anyway, guys, until next time, please treat each other with kindness, love, and respect. Practice inclusion instead of exclusion because you never know who you're going to meet. You never know. You might like them. Am I right? Okay, guys. Mother trucker out. All my little truckers and truckerettes, take care and keep trucking. Bye-bye.